Did you know that space is completely silent? Because there is no atmosphere in space, sound has no medium or way to travel to be heard. This fact alone showcases the fascinating and alien nature of space. Imagine, if you will, being surrounded by the most spectacular cosmic events, yet enveloped in absolute silence. This is the reality for our intrepid explorers, be they human or robotic, a journey into the great unknown without even the familiar comfort of sound. That's just one of the many mind-blowing aspects of space. Now let's dive into some exciting upcoming missions. Space exploration never ceases to amaze. Let's look at some of the most thrilling missions planned for the near future. First off, we have the Dragonfly mission. Imagine a drone, but not just any drone, a drone exploring the alien landscapes of Saturn's moon, Titan. Then there's the Mars Sample Return mission, an audacious plan to bring back pieces of the Red Planet for the first time ever. And lastly, we have the Europa Clipper. This mission is set to undertake a detailed reconnaissance of Jupiter's moon Europa's ice shell and the underlying ocean beneath. Each of these missions, Dragonfly, Mars Sample Return, and Europa Clipper, are more than just names or techie space jargon. They represent our collective thirst for knowledge, the drive to explore the unknown, and the relentless human spirit that looks up at the stars and wonders, what's out there? Each of these missions aims to expand our understanding of the universe. But how exactly? Let's find out. Scene script. Imagine flying a drone on another planet. That's essentially what NASA plans to do with the Dragonfly mission. The Dragonfly mission is a thrilling venture that aims to explore Saturn's enigmatic moon, Titan. Titan, the second largest moon in our solar system, is of particular interest because it's the only celestial body aside from Earth known to have liquid on its surface. But this isn't just any liquid, it's a sea of methane and ethane, substances that are gases on our home planet. The Dragonfly mission's primary objective is to study the prebiotic chemistry and habitability of this icy moon. It's all about understanding whether life, as we know it, could exist in such alien conditions, or perhaps whether it could harbor a form of life completely different from what we're used to. To achieve this, NASA is employing cutting-edge technology, and that's where the Dragonfly drone comes in. This drone, or rotorcraft, is a marvel of engineering. It's designed to fly through the dense atmosphere of Titan and land on various intriguing locations to analyze the surface composition. Imagine a self-driving science laboratory that can hop, skip, and jump across an alien landscape. The Dragonfly drone will be equipped with a suite of scientific instruments to study the moon's organic dunes and impact craters, and to probe for signs of water and complex organic materials. It will also carry a mass spectrometer to identify the chemical ingredients in Titan's atmosphere and surface. The importance of the Dragonfly mission is multifold. It's not just about Titan, it's about understanding the chemical processes that could lead to the development of life. By studying Titan's rich organic chemistry, we might get clues about the early Earth and the origin of life itself. As for the launch date, the journey to Titan is set to commence in 2027. It's a long journey spanning nearly a billion miles. The Dragonfly drone is expected to arrive at its destination in the mid-3030s. The Dragonfly mission could revolutionize our understanding of Saturn's moon Titan and its potential habitability. Mars has always fascinated scientists. The Mars Sample Return mission takes this fascination to the next level. This ambitious endeavor, a collaboration between NASA and the European Space Agency, aims to collect samples from the Red Planet and return them to Earth. But what makes this mission so exciting and unique? The Mars Sample Return mission has three main objectives. First, it seeks to gather samples of Martian soil and rocks, which could provide invaluable insights into the planet's geology and potential for past or present life. Second, the mission aims to demonstrate the technology needed to return samples from another planet, a feat that has never been accomplished before. And third, the mission will provide valuable experience and knowledge for future human missions to Mars. The technology being used for this mission is as cutting edge as it gets. A rover, similar to the famed Perseverance, will be deployed to collect the samples. After the collection, a Mars Ascent vehicle will launch the samples into orbit around Mars. Then, an Earth Return Orbiter will capture the sample-filled canister in space and bring it back to Earth. This mission is crucial for several reasons. 
The samples could shed light on whether life ever existed on Mars, answering one of humanity's oldest questions. Moreover, the mission's success would mark a significant milestone in space exploration, proving that we can retrieve samples from other planets. This could pave the way for future explorations and even the colonization of other planets. The expected launch date for the Mars sample return mission is tentatively set for the latter half of this decade. However, as with all space missions, this date is subject to change due to various factors like technological developments or unforeseen challenges. This mission could bring back the first samples from another planet, opening a new era in planetary science. So, while Mars continues to fascinate us, missions like the Mars Sample Return are taking us one step closer to unraveling its mysteries. Europa, Jupiter's icy moon, has long been suspected to harbor a subsurface ocean. The Europa Clipper mission aims to study this intriguing world. Beneath the icy shell of Europa, it's believed that a vast salty ocean exists, warmed by the gravitational pull of mighty Jupiter. This ocean might be twice the volume of all Earth's oceans combined, making Europa a prime candidate for the search for extraterrestrial life. The Europa Clipper mission, named for the swift, intrepid sailing ships of yesteryears, is set to embark on a daring journey. Its objective? To conduct detailed reconnaissance of Europa's ice shell and subsurface to investigate its habitability. And how does it plan to achieve this? By employing a suite of scientific instruments. These include ice-penetrating radar to probe the icy crust, spectrometers to analyze the composition of Europa's surface and thin atmosphere, and high-resolution cameras to capture stunningly detailed images. But why is this mission important, you ask? Well, it's simple. Life as we know it requires three basic ingredients. Liquid water, the right chemical elements, and an energy source. Europa, with its suspected subsurface ocean, might just tick all these boxes. If the mission finds proof of these conditions, it would mean that this icy moon could potentially harbor life, reshaping our understanding of where life can exist beyond Earth. The Europa Clipper mission is currently in the works, with an expected launch date sometime in the mid-2020s. The Clipper will embark on a multi-year journey to the Jupiter system, where it will conduct flybys of Europa at varying altitudes, capturing a range of high-resolution data. The Europa Clipper mission could potentially discover signs of extraterrestrial life. This is not just a mission, it's a voyage into the unknown, a step closer to answering the age-old question. Are we alone in the universe? Space missions are not just about technology and discovery. They also have profound psychological and sociological effects. Isolation and confinement for extended periods can pose significant mental challenges to astronauts. The vast emptiness of space, the absence of familiar sights and sounds, the lack of direct contact with loved ones, all these can lead to feelings of loneliness, helplessness, and anxiety. Space missions can also impact personal values and social relationships. Astronauts away from the norms and structures of society might experience shifts in their perspectives, leading to changes in their worldview and values. The confined and isolated environment can also alter social dynamics, affecting relationships among crew members and with those back on Earth. Leadership and decision-making are of utmost importance in this unique setting. A leader's actions and decisions can have far-reaching consequences, not just for the mission's success but also for the crew's psychological well-being. But these challenges are not insurmountable. Studies are being conducted to understand individual resilience in such extreme conditions. Methods to select crew members who can best cope with these challenges are being developed. Tools and techniques are also being devised to help astronauts manage feelings of loneliness, helplessness, and anxiety. Understanding these effects is crucial for the success of long-term space missions. Space exploration continues to push the boundaries of our knowledge and capabilities. We've dived deep into the upcoming Dragonfly mission, set to explore Saturn's moon Titan for possible habitability. We've also looked at the Mars Sample Return mission, poised to bring back Martian soil and rocks for the first time. And let's not forget the Europa Clipper mission, set to probe Jupiter's moon, Europa a world that may harbor life beneath its icy surface, but it's not just about the technology and the science. We've also delved into the psychological and sociological effects of these missions, the challenges of isolation and confinement, the impact on personal values and social relationships, and the importance of leadership and decision-making in such extreme environments. 
So let's keep the conversation going. Stay informed about these upcoming missions. Share your excitement and thoughts with others. The universe is vast and full of mysteries waiting to be unraveled. So what do you think? Which mission excites you the most? Remember to like, subscribe, share, and comment on the video. Let's keep our eyes on the stars.